All right, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody who identifies in between. We are, uh, we're back. I know, right? Who would, who would have imagined that I would be streaming like I do every day? So what, why is, I will explain why I'm late once people get here. But it's been... I don't know. It's been one of those days, you know? I mean, it always feels like one of these days at the moment. It is one thing after another without a break in between. And you know what? I don't mind it too much. I quite like being busy. A break would be nice, but it's not the end of the world. I wonder who's going to be first in chat today, and the chat bot failed to initialize. I do know that there is an updated version of Phantom Bot that has just been released that theoretically would fix some of my issues. But, uh. Really, stream elements. I thought I got rid of you. Apparently not. And disable. Where is the fucking disable button? Hmm. Dashboard, maybe? Sorry, guys, if anybody is in chat, I can't see you because. Uh. There we go. All right. Ruins, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. Guys, I'm so warm today. I'm so warm. I mean, it's summer, right? You expect it to be warm. It's not even that warm. It's just humid as fuck. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, we'll, we'll pop music on for the start and then I might transition into a movie or something. Nice. Thank you for spending six nine rainbow coins to make me say nice. Jay, welcome. Welcome. How you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. Where the fuck is... Uh, yeah. Alright. So, why am I late today? Well, well, uh, I actually, should I wait for a few more people to be in chat before I, because otherwise I'm just going to explain it like five times in the first 20 minutes, aren't I? So, I don't think I've told you guys yet, but my mum's Kura, um, has quit. So, today has been, I've not had to, like, do most of the curing roll for quite a while. And it's a little... It's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. Like, cause like, I've always helped. I, I used to be my mum's full-time curer. Um, 
but realistically I, there wasn't that much that needed to be doing it was mostly like doing housework and things well unfortunately my mum's um illnesses i guess progressed degenerated i don't know the correct term but has become more uh more challenging to deal with you know like today i the reason i'm started streaming this late was i needed to cook and eat my dinner and then my mom decided to order dinner for herself which is fine and they saved me a job of cooking um but it turns out she couldn't eat a dinner herself so she needed something to basically feed her so so yeah Well, well, no, the, the issue that I've got, Jay, is um, it's quite the opposite of that. My mum doesn't have a Kura anymore. Like, the Kura's quit. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, at least for the short term, there's going to be, there's going to be a lot more, uh, What, what would you call it? A lot more leaning on me to get things done and to make sure she's taking the meds and eating and things and it's just... I don't need that stress, you know? But I don't mind helping here and there. She's my mum at the end of the day, but there's a reason I thought being a full-time curer. I just physically and mentally can't deal with it. So, that has been me the last couple of days. I don't know. It's just frustrating. My mum's not got the, the mental capacity. Exactly. Well, she, that's what I was just going to talk about, Jay. My mum's not got the mental capacity to, like, deal with these things herself. Which means, like, I'm going to have to, like, research how she goes about getting a... A what's my jigger? An agency, Kara. Because I think that's the only way she can really move forward at this point. Give you a reason not to unfollow right now. Uh, because you enjoy being here. 
at the end of the day, if you want to unfollow, you are more than allowed to. You know? I, I would hope that you enjoy being here. As much the same way I'd hope how everybody, all of my viewers, enjoys being here. You know, if you don't enjoy being here, don't follow. You know, unfollow, and if you do, then stay. That that's that's the amazing That's the amazing thing about about Twitch is like you there's so many people streaming. You can find the exact perfect person for you if you continue to look. I definitely need additional courage during chance for you. Uh probably not, Jay. I mean anything is possible, right? Like Miracles do happen and all of that bullshit. I I do not know what your current issue is, Clue Girl. If you would like to talk to me privately about it, you are welcome to. But like I'm not I, I'm just me, right? Like I, I I don't intend to change. And if you enjoy being in the stream, then great. And if not, I, I wish you the best. You know, I'm, there's no pressure. There's no aminosity or anything. People come and hopefully stay. And not everyone stays. Guys, at the same time, as much as I'm enjoying getting all these dungeoneering levels, I can't wait for the beach to be over. You know? Thank you guys for offering the support and asking if Clue Girl is okay. Exactly, Jay, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Very true, Jay. No, exactly, runes. I'm the same. I can't. Not even. There could be somebody I hate. It could be somebody I absolutely hate. But at the same time, 
if I knew somebody's struggling, I can't help but at least try to help, you know? I'm, I'm the same. Blue Girl, I can... I do understand. I, as you know, I've quit alcohol. Um, and nicotine... Um, not nicotine completely. I'm still vaping, but I've quit six and nicotine pouches. And I've got very low nicotine liquid like an idiot. So I... I it, it, it's shit. <laughs> I'm such a prick at the moment, you know? No worries, Ruins. Thank you for the lurk. No worries. Sometimes it's best to just try and ignore them. I get it. I get it. Oh. So, the plan for today is Dungeoneering Hall, and, you know, Arrowheads. That is the plan for today. I don't know, it's not going to be a long stream, because, yeah. I mean, it's possible it ends up being a long stream. But I'd be surprised. I'm... I'm not sure how to help you, Glue Girl, because you don't want to talk about the issue, which I completely understand. Um, uh, it, that is certainly not a good idea for Clue Girl, uh, Jay. And that's fine, don't have to talk about it. Completely ignore it, pretend you didn't say anything. As always, my inbox is open whenever I'm free, I'll get back to you. Um, but apart from that, how's everybody's day been? I was hoping to, like, go live, like, 2 o'clock today, and then one thing happened, and another thing happened, and another thing happened, and I was like, yeah. Jay, we're not talking about it. We're just not going to talk about it. I don't see a need to. I've got two friend requests on Discord from two people I've never spoke to. I really... No worries, Clue Girl. Your day been okay, generally. Just had a uh, chilled one recovering from your... Dark room hangover. <laughs> I thought you don't drink.
Benji, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. Also, by the way, guys, thank you for helping us complete our, uh, what's the word? Sponsorship. Fuck me, my brain is not functioning today. Thank you for all everyone who helped me achieve the sponsorship. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying you, you, people should never drink. Like, if you, if you can drink responsibly, then do it. But we did manage to do it, and I will get paid within 30 days, they say. And then I can go and buy some stuff for all the studio to start getting it set up. Thank you, Clue Girl. Much appreciated. So, if you did get to Adventure Level 6, make sure you post a screenshot on... Discord, I'm going to, when I get paid is when I'm going to do the giveaway. So sometime in the next 30 days, I'm going to do a giveaway randomly to one person who's posted a screenshot using the random number generator. So if you did do it, like post screenshot. So far we've got Benji, Neon and Sophie has post screenshots. So, there are technically seven people who did it and has not posted a screenshot. I, I, I know there are two people who's done it who's asked not to be part of the giveaway. So, I know there are two that definitely don't want to be. Um, there is a section called giveaway entries. Funnily enough, about halfway down. Yeah, the giveaway is just a tenner on Amazon or Steam. I, no, I'm going to say just Amazon uh, because I would have to buy a physical Steam card because you can't gift currency on Steam, which is annoying. Which, I mean, somebody wins a tenner. It was just my way of thanking you guys for doing it. Um, Alright, Jay, alright. So we do... I've got three outstanding offers for sponsorships, but none of them... None of them really interest me. There's an upcoming sponsorship. That vaguely sounds interesting. I'm just looking at my sponsorship provider. So I've got a Raid Shadow Legend sponsorship, but they're offering shit money. I'm not... I, you know, like, there was one that was offering, from Raid, last month, I was offering four times the amount of money. I, I might have considered that, uh, that amount of money. But, uh... But, uh, that, you know, less than a hundred dollars. Like, fuck that. There is one coming up. What is a upcoming massive multiplayer online tactical warfare game sponsorship? That sounds interesting to me. Yo, you make good and strong. I do love a good coffee. Uh, unfortunately, Ruin's entries are not transferable. I mean, I'm a monster kind of guy. I, I do like a coffee. I got a coffee grinder. I should really buy coffee again. I wonder where my coffee grinder is. I don't even know where my coffee grinder is right now. I've not used it in that long.
I mean, if I'm being honest, I can't really afford monster, but it is what it is. I give up drinking. I give up smoking. I give up nicotine pouches. I give up meat. I can't give up monster. <laughs> yeah, I can understand why you can't afford monster. Why do you get so little money? I don't know how I feel about those, Benji. Ah, so like... Yeah, so like, most of your money goes to where you live. Like, is that what you mean? And then you get, and then you get what's left kind of deal. I'm guessing that. I would hate to live somewhere where I don't have to cook. Because I enjoy cooking. Like, I'm pretty good at cooking. It's one of the few things that my own... GG, Benji. And do you want to be... I'm guessing you mean vegetarian, though? Um, I've been a vegetarian for... Five years, five and a half years, something like that. I don't know exactly how long at this point, but it's been a lot, quite a long time. It's like a fifth of my lifespan. Can you not just tell them you want to... Like, here they have to respect your wishes. Like, when I was um, in the mental health institution, um, like, they, the, it was actually on the entry form. No, it's okay. It's okay, clue girl. You are welcome to come here and talk about your problems. Okay. So why don't you? Do you not have any? And what do you mean by regular Siggy? Just so everybody clear. Because that could mean lots of things to me. It could mean you usually smoke a certain product, but you want to smoke just tobacco. Not vape. Ah, okay, okay. Hello, uh, Empty Iron. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. We're just in the hole today. We're not really, uh... We're not doing very much complicated things. Not hanging yourself so you guess it could be worse. Definitely.
If you feel like you need somebody to talk to, feel free to join Discord and send me a private message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm here to listen and support. Maybe advise, but probably not advise because every word is different. Thank you, Clue Girl. But that, that, as everybody knows, that offer is open to everyone. I'm not always available because obviously sometimes I'm streaming and sometimes, like, especially at the moment, my mum's courier has just quit. So I've got to do more like curing until we can, until we get a new courier. So I'm not as available right now as I usually would be. Um, but I'll try my best to reply as soon as I can. Yeah, me too. Me too. We're almost at a rune. Well, we are basically at a rune after these next lot of our heads. I agree. I'd rather it take a bit longer but find the right person. Don't worry about the uh, subscription or whatever. Well, thank you, Clue. Clue Girl, I do very much appreciate it. Um, I'll be honest, I used to be a very good curer. It's what I used to do as a job. Um, but, like, not as much anymore. Like, I don't really... I don't have the patience I used to have, you know? I guess that's what being in chronic pain does to you. I like, if there's nobody to do it... I will do it. You know, like, if there's nobody else to, uh... To like feed my mum and she needs feeding, I will do it, but yeah. If you're asking where to be sick, a bin is the best idea. Jay, thank you for subscribing. Massively appreciated. I do really do very, very much appreciate the support. No worries, Clue Girl, no worries. Daniel, welcome to the stream. How you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. And we gotta go mining. Just chilling. Alright, can't complain. Been live for about half an hour. I'm hoping to do. What time is it? It's fast stream till. We could do like. I, I'm, I'm a bit stressed at the moment, Daniel. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit stressed at the moment. Um, I have explained this already, so I'm sorry that I'm repeating myself, guys. But my uh, my mum's cura has quit. Um. My mum's Kura 
has unfortunately quit and it's become one of those uh obviously i live with my mum so i'm the natural person who's gonna take on that role until we find a new clearer and i just I just don't know if I have it in me anymore, to be honest. Like, between being in pain and having all my own mental bullshittery going on. So I'm hoping we find a new person quickly. It can be hard. It's annoying because, like, a few years ago, I, I, I was a full-time carer and it didn't bother me. And Jay, thank you for that ten dollar donation. I very much appreciate it. Um, but I just between like with my physical condition getting worse, I'm just not as calm and patient as I used to be. Right? Can I can I make this more upright? Uh, no. So it's just one of those things that we're just gonna have to work through. But it means. Just as I was a, just about getting back to a normal streaming schedule, I'm now going to be a bit fucked all over the place again. Which, I mean, at the end of the day, streaming for me is a hobby, right? Like, so, streaming doesn't come first. And if I was making, like, 10, 12, 15 grand a year off streaming or something. I would probably take it more seriously, but I don't really make money for streaming, and that's fine. I don't I don't really care about making money for streaming. I just do it because I enjoy it. I do appreciate that, Jay. Um, I was actually out yesterday. I had a few non-alcoholic beers, which were all right. Some of them were pretty horrible. I had one of the spoons, and that was dreadful. Um, and then I, I, I drank a few tonics, uh, uh, a lime and soda or two. Like, to be fair, I don't really miss alcohol. <laughs> that much like when I'm really stressed and I'm really pissed off and the only thing I want to do is get shit faced I'm not gonna lie but, like most of the time when I'm relatively stable it, it's not something that really bothers me I wouldn't say I'm I'm like in a bad place. I think I'm doing pretty well. I got signed up by oh I I forgot to tell you guys. I uh I got signed off from the mental health team. Which is a good thing. I got discharged. It means they think that I'm stable and safe for the first time in probably I don't know, nearly fifteen years. I've For the first time in 15 years, I am not being seen by any mental health professional. Now, if it remains that way long term, that is yet to be seen. But at least for right now, I'm stable. <laughs> I 
I don't get me wrong, I'm not like 100%. Well, just handling my meds is now handed over to my GP, Jay. My GP, luckily, is very good, so I shouldn't get any less support. I can always get referred back to community mental health team if required. Yeah, it's a good thing to be at that point. Um, and I think the issue that a lot of people have, I'm going to pause my music while I talk about this. The issue that a lot of people have is they get signed off from the mental health team and then they stop working on themselves. They think, right, I'm mentally good now, so I don't need to do anything to stay this way. And they just go back to bad habits. And I think it's important to remember that mental health, when you struggle with it, is a chronic condition, you know, and it takes daily effort to maintain it. And sometimes that means taking a break or, you know, like taking a step back when you need to. For me, streaming is my break. That's why I stream every day because it maintains my mental health pretty well. But I do think a lot of people tend to forget about the fact that mental health is like physical health. Jay, thank you for cheering that one unicorn bit. You know, much like how if you want to be slim and fit and healthy, you have to exercise and watch what you eat and everything. It's the same with mental health, you know? Yep, exactly, Benji. It's fine, it's fine, you do you. Bits are another way of like financially supporting the streamer. So like, for every bit that you donate, I get one US cent. Which actually means, you know, which makes less money from it and I get more money as a percentage. Um, but you have to remember to send bits where subscriptions are auto-renewing, usually. Hydrate, can do.
I'm pretty sure Benji is up to watching the stream. Benji's one of those people that doesn't like doing things other than like concentrating on the stream or whatever. That's a one that I've never seen before. What thing is the oh it's it's the birthday um it's the birthday cheer that's what they call them isn't it cheering clue girl what is happening again take a deep breath. It's the cupcake. What? <laughs> ah. Yep. Seems good, man. <laughs> Jay Jay's currently just investigating all the different um, bitty things. Thank you for the bits, Jay. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the bits. What is that one? Mr. Destructoid. Okay then. Sure. When I first started using Twitch, uh, there was only one option for cheering. There weren't all the different ones. Literally, it was just the cheer one. You know? I can't cheer on my own channel. But just the default one. Well, yeah, at the end of the day, like, it gets thrown in the same pot as subs and everything, so... Just remember that you want to do the giveaway chat. <laughs> yes, I did ask Red to remind me to do that. I did ask Red to remind me to do that. Right, can somebody, anybody, find me somebody to love? Sorry, out to. Um, can somebody remind me at the end of the stream to update the giveaway chat? I've got a message. Yeah. 
No worries, Benji. That was pretty close, Ruins, but unfortunately not close enough. Magic Magic School Bus Dropper? Did I read that right? Welcome, welcome. How you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. Claudia time. I don't know where everybody's been lately, but... Just put on Discord. Oh, I'll have a look right now. Uh, click that thing. Nice. But don't worry about it, Jay. Is there any even awake right now? The, according to the users in chat list, Red is lurking. Burden Ruins. Back in the pool. Why is my dog barking? Can I be bothered going finding her? Making a joke. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, probably. I, the thing is, it's summer, and I kind of expect viewership to, like, drop a bit uh, over summer. Because people want to get out and see friends and family and go drinking and camping and whatever else, and that's okay. Obviously, if I relied on this for my income... It'd be something that I've been more concerned about. But it's not my job.
Sorry, I'm being... Neon is messaging me about homebrew questions. Right, uh, Benji, no, let, let's see if I can win. Show me the money! Nope, I literally, I... That, I couldn't have done worse. I could not have done worse. <laughs> okay, that's a good one, Jay. Um, no, I don't at the moment, Ruins. We was meant to be creating the D&D group uh, with Creed as the DM. But I that's kind of uh, dead in the water, to be honest. Feel free to... Uh, Neon, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Benji, D and D. You know, tabletop game. Yeah, Neon. While you're here, I can. Uh, my advice would be to keep them cold and you shouldn't need to burp them at all if you can keep them below like seven degrees c but if you're keeping them at room temperature refrigerate exactly your other option that you've got is you could pasteurize them. I've done that before. Pasteurizing it. Uh, so the high fill full bottle you'll need to drink within the week, I would say. Um, no worries, Benji. The half full bottle will not keep at all. Um, it'll oxidize too quickly and you just end up with vinegar, essentially. Uh, the other bottles... If you pasteurize them, um, they would keep for somewhere between three and seven years on average. Maybe longer, depends on how good the seal is on the bottle. <laughs> then you've got no worries about refrigeration, building pressure, or anything because it's pasteurized. The seal looks pretty strong. Clue girl, how can we help? You can't bloody stop. Uh, I, I, it's, it's funny because I deal with multiple addictions. But I still don't know how to help people with addictions. Uh, do you want to post a picture in the alcohol channel, Neil? Yeah, I, I do agree with you. It's nice to see the numbers go burr.
Um... <laughs> you want to do clues, then just do clues. You know, just do it. Shia LaBeouf style. Awesome Neon. Did you literally not post a description? Neon! But yeah, with swing top bottles like that, um, deals are pretty good on those, to be fair. Um, which is a good and a bad thing, right? Like, it's good because it's sealed, but it's bad because they will, the bottle will explode before the seal gives out. You know? So if you do build pressure in that bottle, it's not a case of, like, the top will pop off. The bottle will explode like a bomb. There we go. Thank you, Neil. So, like, swing top bottles are amazing, and I, I own a lot of them. But, like, if you've not got a hydrometer to check them, uh, I don't know. I would definitely, definitely be looking at pasteurization. Basically, I was saying, like, swing top bottles are really good because, generally speaking, unless you get really old swing top bottles, or there are some swing top bottles, what a single use, like, uh, is it Grosch? Is that how you say the beer? The swing top bottles, they don't reseal all that well, to be honest. Um, you have to put a bit of Vaseline on there to reseal it, and then that kind of can make the alcohol taste a bit weird. Uh, yeah, but... Because they use a, a, a silicon oil for the ceiling. Um, <laughs> Jay's just enjoying the bits though. I love it. Thank you, Jay, so much for the bits. Um, but what I was saying is a decent swing top bottle, the, the seal is that good that the bottle will explode before the seal gives out. Um, so I would definitely consider pasteurization. Like, if you've not managed to do a hydrometer reading... Okay, Kaluga. Well, I I wish you the best. Thanks. Why did my speaker just say thanks? My. St you okay there, Google? No worries, Kaluga. Look after yourself, okay? Should we do another mining run after this? I'll just get back to making arrowheads. Give me one sec, guys. I'm just going to see where we're up to. 14. Uh, video producer. So I'm just trying to remember to upload videos to YouTube before they disappear off Twitch. Re One second, what? Hey, really, Twitch?
Really, Twitch? So, guys. Apparently, Twitch doesn't store your vaults for very long anymore. Even as a Twitch Prime member. Basically, all my vaults are gone. My oldest vault is the 16th of July. So, they're only... So they're storing two weeks of odds. Well, before they used to store like 90 days of odds if you're a Twitch Prime member. Well, that's. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the two weeks, that's all that I've got. Now I'm going to have to remember to... Uh... Upload these. Quite a lot. I don't know if they've just changed, if they've changed the, uh, I don't know if they've changed the, if they've just lost a bunch of VODs somehow, or if they've changed the rules, so. Because it's exactly two weeks of VODs that I've got. And it just seems a bit suspect that it would be exactly two weeks if it was like some accidental server end issue, right? Neon, I'm presuming you don't have a sous vide machine. Jay's like, the, all these bitty things are fun. <laughs> Thank you for all those 10 bitties. Because if you, if you do happen to have a sous vide machine, which I know isn't something most people have, pasteurization is really easy. We got a hundred and fifty bars. That, yeah, we'll get to a. <sighs> I'm too warm.
Let's uh find a movie to watch. Welcome back, Benji. No worries, Jay. Thank you. If you could leave a look, I'd appreciate it. But if not, have a good day. Um, my brain is not functioning. <sighs> Low key, how you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. Okay, sure. Bye, man. So, Loki, how are you doing today? I'm a, I'm a bit stressed today. I'm a bit stressed today. I'm not gonna lie. No worries, no worries. Well, I appreciate you dropping in while you can. Can I move the shit here and I can put my fan there and hopefully cool down a bit because I'm really warm. Not even that warm, guys, but I'm really warm. One sec, let me, uh, Let's just do that side. My uh my mum's curra has quit. Um which is just left like yeah. Well you chill for a bit, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. It, it went really good. I had a good time. I really... Uh, they didn't, like, pressure me into drinking or anything, which I very much appreciated. Well, you see, te so so here's the thing, Neil. Can you do a thermometer? Yes, you can. Um, because theoretically, it doesn't have to be that precise. You know, like just put them in a pan of cold water. Let it hit a boil, leave them in the pan, and it's good enough pasteurization. It doesn't have to be exact, you have to remember. It's, you're not making something that you're expecting to last forever. I'm presuming you're planning to drink it in the next little while. Or you can just burp them. <laughs> Which you know is the easiest method, I'm not going to lie. Pasteurization is a good skill to learn for if you want to make a sweet meat. Because unless you're going to buy all the equipment you need to sterile filter something, the only way you can really have something that's still sweet that's been fermented is to pasteurize.
So, I'll be honest, this is going to be a short stream again. Which is frustrating to me because I, I really want to like try and get more hours in, but I'm just tired. Yeah. <laughs> Seventy six hours on the dot. And exactly two hundred and eighty thousand points. No, because you probably break the glass bottles. Glass bottles are annealed, so like temperature shocks would be bad. And I don't think you'd have enough thermal mass to get the, the liquid up to the right temperature. Uh, like the liquid inside the bottles. Smoked, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. Honestly, without like thermometers, I would just burp them. I don't think it's worth it to risk, you know, damaging the bottles. I don't think that'd be hot enough. Like, you have a stove, right? Obviously, you have a stove. Just fill, put them in the. If you got a pan big enough, put them in the pan, fill it with cold water, heat it up until it just, just starts boiling. Like, till you see the first little bubbles of boiling, and then turn it off and just leave it to cool down. And that should be good enough. It doesn't have to be perfectly sterile, it just has to be good enough. Like, because. I'm presuming you're not planning to store this for like five years or something. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Neon doesn't have one of those, Benji. He might have. And also, unless it, just to be very obvious, do this, re uncap them, unseal them, and then when you turn the heat off, reseal them. You know, pressurizing glass with heat is a bad idea. It's the same as canning, really. 
Just not quite as in depth. Or like I said, you can just refrigerate them. Yes! Then it stops your thermal shock in the bottles. The bottles slowly gain temperature with the water. What you what you want is you don't want a sudden temperature change. So what you want to do is uh, let the, the bottle slowly gain temperature up to just shy of a boil. Like it, when you see the first bubbles appear, the water should be like 80, 90 degrees. Seal the bottles and just leave the pan until it's cold until the day after. But you want to seal the bottles while it's hot. <laughs> One second, Benji. Still here just driving, no worries Loki, no worries, I appreciate you hanging about. Like I said, it's not going to be a particularly long stream today because I'm exhausted and I've got to... <laughs> I'm presuming he's currently stopped. I'm pretty sure that he's like up to right now. And then there's also voice to text to refer. Although I would like to say you should be paying as much attention to the uh to the road as possible, you know?
No worries, Loki, no worries. I do appreciate you sticking around. We'll be live for another half hour or so. To be fair. Yeah, me too, Benji, me too. I'm having a hard time sleeping at the moment. I know I'm, it's, it's, it's frustrating me because I can't like stream as much as I want and as I've said many times streaming is one way that I maintain my mental health. GG Watching streams helps mine. Exactly, exactly. That's the hope. That is what I what I hope is that my streams can help you guys and help me at the same time. Smoked, what are you up to today? Well, I appreciate you spending as much time here as you do, Loki. Nice XP at the hole. The the hole is great XP. I'm really hoping to get to 111. All the ones. Currently pasteurizing. Nice Neo. Yeah, pasteurize them, and then they should be fine. For if you're not doing like, yeah, I've gone from 81 to 111 by the time. I'm done. That's the target. One mil XP to go. Well, that's why I play two accounts and usually watch Netflix and talk to you guys. <laughs>
No worries, Loki. No worries. Have a good day. <laughs> I I done eighty one to one hundred and ten. Honestly, I'm not super stressed for DXP. They happen that frequently now that it, and I play every day, you know. That like when DXP was like one a year, it was a big thing. But now when you get four a year, it's a bit like, eh. Nice, nice. Oh. Sorry guys. I'm just really uh uncomfortable right now. It's very humid and I'm not enjoying it. See the thing is it's not just that streams quite like RuneScape is quiet. Look at half of these people used to be online every day. Mr. Clamper, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. How you doing? I'm doing mostly okay. I'm stressed at the moment. I am stressed. I'm not going to lie. Well, apart from that, I'm doing all right. How about you? How are you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. not bad you never online kind of got questing skill and fatigue I don't blame you
What have you been up to then lately, Camper? Anything interesting? We're doing pretty well. I've, I've not managed to stream anywhere near as much as I would like to recently, which is frustrating me. But life happens. You know? That's the thing, like, I can't help at the moment that life is just a bit fucked up. <laughs> and it's okay. You know? Glitch, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How's things? How's life? Tell me all about it. Every time I think I've got a handle on things, something else happens. It's it's almost comical. You know, like I finally got all of my clients in order. Everybody needed to be where they are, whether it was hospital or a new home, whatever. And then my mum ended up in hospital and that happened. And then my mum's cura quit this week. And I'm like, does it ever end? You know, it just never ends. But that's okay. Because that's it, it's what makes life interesting. Really need to level combat and check out some PvP. Apparently late like, game that gets pretty good, but damn it's a lot of grinding true. Yeah, been okay, just been cleaning the apartment, looking into extra things for a place that you haven't bought yet. Shoe rack, new So so adult stuff then. But we're not, it's not going to be a long stream because, I, as I said on Discord, I, I just don't feel very good today. But hey, you'll be back tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow because I am back every day. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Like, at the end of the day, I know not everybody can make it every day, and that's okay. I don't mind. Like, you guys come when you can and don't when you can.
Plus you can make make it pretty much every day. I mean these points and I was in chat don't come from nowhere. Very true, Benji. Very true. I was watching more Twitch to be fair, it's nice to be able to feel part of community. Well, I mean, you're welcome to come whenever you can, obviously. But I do understand that people have lives and whatnot. But I do understand that unfortunately people have got lives and jobs and kids and partners, hobbies, interests, you know, responsibilities. Like, unfortunately, adult life can be shit. And that's why I, I don't expect most people to be here every day. Apart from Benji, I expect Benji to be here every day. It's got to a point where I basically, ex if Benji wasn't here, I would be messaging him and be like, you okay, bro? Like, is that, is everything all right? Uh, ice cream. Back in the hole. So do you have a job, Clamper, these days? I don't remember.
All right, all right. But I've done part time volunteering in before. Okay, okay. So you've not got a job and you're not here every day. Fail, let down. No, I'm just kidding. Um, do you remember to roll in chat, guys? Giveaway and all. GG, Neon. Snake eyes, exactly. Theoretically, Neon, yes. Without, you know, without being very precise and whatever. Maybe not. Did you add a stabilizer to them when you bottled them, by the way? Oh, Neon. Do yourself a bit a favor and buy yourself some Camden tablets. Wait, it's finding findings is not a stabilizer, no. Uh Neon's making meat. You just drop a candom tablet in a gallon when it's done fermenting, and it stuns all the yeast. Theoretically, if you find it extremely well, it would basically stabilize it, but there's no finding agent on the market what can flock out yeast that well. But Camden tablets, if you got a Wilco's nearby, um, drop, drop in Wilco's so you can get a tub of them for like £2 or something, like 100 tablets. And you just drop one in a gallon, um, like the day or two before you bottle. Wilco's ran out, you'll search they rip. You can get them on eBay. The ones that I'm currently using came from eBay. There's quite a good number of homebrew supplies on eBay. Honestly, I would have left it in the fermenter until you had Camden tablets, personally. Because Camden tablets also stop it oxidising. eBay is really... Well, I mean, you can probably get them on Amazon, but they'll cost a fortune on Amazon. Yeah, I'm trying my best um, to, uh, to not use Amazon at the moment. I'm trying my best to not use Amazon. I'm purposefully using eBay to support small businesses. Um... I, it is a bit more of a ball ache, I'm not going to lie. But I feel better for it. 
And things are quite often cheaper. Um, to be fair, Clamper, I've give up alcohol for the time being. I'm, uh, what, 15 days? One sec. 14, 15, 16. I'm 17 days sober. I have to check my calendar. 5 99 for 100 tablets. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, but I, like I said, I'm I'm purposely trying to use Amazon less. Um, until they start paying the first share of tax in Britain, I'm going to try my best to use as little of Amazon as possible. And as well, when you buy off eBay, you're usually buying off small companies. And like, yeah. I do agree with you that Amazon is not that eBay is not as user friendly as Amazon, and it's a bit more of a ball ache to find exactly what you need and whatnot. I agree with you, but once you start finding good sellers, you know, like I've got some specific people that I some specific sellers I use for specific types of items, it doesn't really bother me much anymore. So we are basically at the two hour mark, but I'm I'm actually But eBay is generally cheaper than Amazon. So if anything buying of small businesses helps. Dream shattered. <laughs> well, some did go to a uh... We'll do, we'll do a stretch, guys. I'll, I'm going to keep streaming. Um, I'll just stream till I need the bathroom, and then I'll then I'll stop streaming. We'll do that, yeah. Because like realistically, there's nothing I need to do tonight. I mean, my room needs tidying, but I'm doing that Monday. So it might be another 10 minutes, I might be another half hour, but I can't imagine it being much longer than that.
back in the hole. I wonder how much XP is left now. Uh, really? Still 980,000. That's the thing is like Amazon used to actually be pretty good value, but as they've become the market leader, they've slowly creeped up the transaction fees and things for sellers. So it actually doesn't work out cheaper on Amazon most of the time anymore, which is a real shame because like Amazon offers an amazing service. I, I'm I, I'm not I'm not faulting Amazon, you know, especially if you've got Prime, which obviously most of us have here, because Twitch Prime is great. And I'm like, you know, Prime Video and things like the service you get off Amazon is, is second to none, really. And uh, I'm not faulting Amazon in any way. I just think the business practices are less than ideal. Oh, I'm, at the end of the day, Neon, you're an adult and you can choose to do what you want to do. I'm, I'm not going to, like... I'm not going to have an issue with it if that's what you choose to do. I mean, to be fair, to Amazon's benefit, um, they have been rolling out electric trucks in cities recently for deliveries. Don't know how carbon footprint would be like. Yeah, clamper. Yeah, Amazon is. So when Amazon logistics deliver it, so not for party contractor. Um, it's usually an electric van, especially in cities and things. Uh, when a third party contractor, which is still widely used in Britain, it's whatever van they get their hands on, they usually hire vans. Or really cheap old vans. So it's, it's a bit of a, if you live in a city, um, in Britain, they're using electric, 
if you live like in a smaller town and things you know if you live in a small town or in a rural area it's less likely to be done by Amazon logistics themselves so more likely to be a m much more highly polluting Yeah, I mean we can all try. We can we can try, Plamper at the end of the day. You know. Which is fair enough, Benji. Like more power to them, quite literally. Unfortunately, where I live, they use a third part. They use third party contractors, so they're always really old, cheap vans, like old transits and things, um, which are old diesels. <laughs> so you know, not ideal. But it's not like a... <laughs> the, um... I think the advantage of buying through eBay as well is usually it's delivered by Royal Mail. You know, Royal Mail already are going to every house in the country. So, like... You're not really adding any much to the carbon footprint if it delivers through Royal Mail. Unless it's a particularly large package, then it'll be delivered separately via Royal Mail or Hermes or something. Then you are technically adding to a current footprint. That was a joke, Benji. Um, by Clamper. If you didn't know. Go on. Yeah, but only fools and horses is, is like peak British culture, you know. If you haven't watched Only Fools and Horses and you can... British culture, yeah. If you've not watched Only Fools and Horses and you can find it like on YouTube or something, I would highly suggest you to watch at least a little bit of it. Like it's old, it is old and there are some politically questionable things in there. But it's, it's great.
potentially Neo. The issue that you've got as well is naturally so unpredictable. So it's not it's not the fact that there was more yeast, it's the fact that there was an unpredictable like uncontrolled yeast. So, uh, you, so Neon, just so you're aware, uh, when you're adding adjuncts, which is what you call things like raisins, rose hips, um, cocoa nibs, you know, anything like that, even if you're doing, uh, oak chips, which is something I'm adding to one of mine meats soon. Um, you want to soak them in vodka for 24 hours first because it sterilizes them. Like, not a lot, just enough vodka or white rum. Um, you can use other spirits if you want to add those flavors to your alcohol. Um, but just enough to cover them. No worries, it just sterilizes whatever you're adding. Your other option is to boil them, but then you lose some of the natural flavors of it into the boil. So, most people go with soaking them in vodka for like 24 hours or so. Because the thing is, it, it's not just a case of adding... You, I think, personally, if that doesn't go off you know if you don't get an infection in that out in that mead you would be very lucky <laughs> because typically everything that you put into a ferment you want to be as close to sterile as possible so when you start adding random dried things you start risking things um and there's nothing wrong with that that's how they used to do it you know and that's how sour beers were first invented you know, lambics and things, that's how they were first invented. So I'm, I'm not, it, it's not always bad, but, you know, it depends if you want to end up with a sour and potentially dangerous liquid. Because unless you know what you're putting in there, like, it's not, it's pretty hard to get, like, botulism and E. coli in a ferment. So it's not, the likelihood of it being dangerous is pretty low. But the likelihood of it being unpleasant is pretty high. You know, like, you can buy... The cultures that you use to make sour beers and things, if you want, if you want to do that, but then whatever you make, whatever touches that, can never be used for a normal ferment again, because you will never sterilize it good enough. Like bacteria is a bitch to deal with. Fair enough, Neo. I'm actually uh I'm actually gonna end stream here because I did say I'll leave when I need the bathroom and I need the bathroom. So guys thanks for hanging out. I don't know what time I'm gonna be able to stream tomorrow. I'm not I'm not even gonna try and give you a time. Hopefully I'll try to stream a bit earlier. Um 
But if that doesn't work out, that doesn't work out. But have a good day, night, morning, afternoon, or evening. Uh, let's raid. Uh, let's raid out, guys. Please stick around for the raid. Don't forget to get your last rolls in. We're going to raid Fail, guys. Fail is a family-friendly streamer, so please do watch your language. Uh, I can't even type raid message. Spec raid with some cat emotes, if you've got them. You. Uh, I can't. Uh, we're just going to go with that. That is the raid message, guys. Thank you all for hanging out. Massively appreciate it. Have a good day, night, morning, afternoon, or evening. Whether you watch this live as a video or possibly on YouTube. Look after yourselves, stay safe, and last but not least, as always, is Cheerio.